What do you think is common between fruit and pen knives, hamburgers and plastic gloves, soda and coins? All this can end up in people's stomachs. And what connects peas and air? These two things can be found in people's lungs. Let's find out what weird things doctors found inside their patients' bodies, shall we? A boy in India was playing in a river and accidentally swallowed a small fish. It got not into the stomach, but into the lungs. When the boy was examined in the hospital, doctors discovered that the fish in his lungs was still alive. The doctors managed to extract the swimming creature and save the boy's life. A 75-year-old man came to a doctor and complained of severe discomfort in the chest area. He was sure he had a serious condition. But after examination and tests, doctors found out that a pea had grown in his lungs. It grew, and therefore the man was experiencing severe discomfort. Thing is, he once swallowed a pea and it went down the wrong way. And there were good conditions in the lungs. The pea began to sprout leaves, but the doctors successfully removed it. This woman from California experienced the sensation of a foreign object in the eye and impaired vision. When she went to the hospital, an ophthalmologist found several contact lenses under her upper eyelids. He pulled them out, but there was more. As a result, the doctor took out 23 disposable contact lenses. The doctor said the eyes had lost sensitivity after many years of wearing lenses. The woman didn't notice the missing lenses and put on new ones every time. It continued until the massive stack began to cause discomfort. With age, the gap on the upper eyelid became very deep, so all the lenses had enough space to fit there. She was lucky that everything ended well and her eyes returned to normal. The woman wanted to get into the Guinness Book of Records. She asked the doctors to record a video of the extraction of lenses. But it turned out this record belonged to another woman living in Britain. Doctors found, wait for it, 27 contact lenses in her eyes. The man came to the hospital because of stomach pangs. Doctors conducted a thorough examination and found no problems there, except 40 small knives in the man's stomach. The patient swallowed pen knives for two years. Some of them were closed and some were completely open. The doctors removed all of them and saved the man's life. And then the patient said what had happened to him. According to his words, he just felt an impulse and a desire to swallow all these knives. Of course, the doctor realized that he had some mental issues. This problem is called pica. This strange human condition causes a strong desire to eat or swallow inedible objects. Pica cases are quite common and have been known since ancient times. But psychologists and doctors have not been able to determine the causes of this condition. Now, a 55-year-old man came to the hospital with a similar disorder. There were 10 plastic gloves stuck in his intestines. Surgeons operated on him to remove foreign objects. Luckily, they saved the patient's life. Hmm, 40 pen knives, plastic gloves, lenses in the eyes, all this is not as strange as several sets of cutleries chilling in this woman's stomach. In the 70s, doctors found 78 forks and spoons in the patient's stomach. Doctors pulled out each item with extreme care so as not to damage the internal organs. After a difficult operation, they asked her why she had done that. And she replied she just liked to eat cutlery. Apparently, she also has pica disorder. A young 18-year-old girl often suffered with stomach problems. After each meal, she was sick and lost weight. Just within several days, she lost about 40 pounds. Then her condition became much worse when stomach pains and bloating appeared. Doctors performed a CT scan and saw a strange formation in the upper part of the stomach. Further examination revealed that the girl had an 11-pound ball of hair inside her. This is the weight of 10 basketballs. Hair wasn't digested by the gastric juice, so it accumulated in the girl's belly. Talk about a hairball. A New Yorker turned to a dermatologist because of a strange mole on her skin. The woman claimed it was constantly changing. The doctor carefully examined the mole and noticed that it was not only changing, but moving. 
it turned out that it was a tick hidden under the skin. The dermatologist easily removed it and sent the patient home. And wasn't she ticked off? <laughs> a man in Germany had headaches for many years. Then he began to see poorly with his right eye. Finally, he decided to see a doctor and found out that a 4-inch pencil was stuck in his head. It got there during an accident in the patient's childhood. It spent about 15 years in his head, but the man didn't know anything. Doctors successfully removed the foreign object from the head, and the man completely recovered some time after surgery. A 75-year-old woman from Britain felt something wasn't right with her lungs. She came to the doctor, and they said she had a lung infection. The woman's daughter didn't believe him and decided to go to another hospital. The daughter brought her mother to another doctor, and they revealed the cause of the woman's condition. It turned out she had swallowed a denture that stuck in her throat. The false teeth were successfully pulled out, and the woman finally made a full chest breathe. Didn't she miss wearing her denture? I think that would have been a clue. The relationship between a man and a woman can lead to unexpected consequences. A resident of China quarreled with her boyfriend and decided to express her anger in an unusual way. She swallowed 20 cobblestones and thought they would come out naturally. But the stones stuck in the stomach and started knocking against each other. Of course, the girl went to the hospital where doctors removed them. YouTube rules do not permit me to make jokes about getting stoned, but come on, it's right there! A man in the UK decided to propose to his girlfriend. But first, he went to a jewelry store to pick out a ring. The store manager showed him several options, and the man chose a very expensive and beautiful one. The problem was that the buyer didn't have money for this gem, so he decided to resort to a trick. When the seller turned away, the man just took the ring and swallowed it. The jeweler saw that it was gone and called the police. The man was sure the officers would search him and find nothing, but they came with a metal detector. When the police realized where the ring was, they put him in a cell, waiting for the body to return it naturally. I'd kind of like to know what the jewelry store told the next person who wanted that ring. In France, doctors faced a weird case when a man with abdominal pain came to them. During the examination, the doctors found out that there was something in his stomach. The man's family warned doctors that the patient liked to swallow coins. The doctors took an x-ray and noticed a large mass of foreign objects weighing 12 pounds. It's almost the weight of a bowling ball. When the operation began, doctors pulled 350 coins worth $650 out of the patient's stomach. But that wasn't all. Doctors removed a necklace and a needle from the body. Apparently, this man also had pica disorder. Now, sometimes brushing your teeth can be a dangerous activity. One 55-year-old man accidentally swallowed a toothbrush and did nothing. He lived for two weeks with a toothbrush in his stomach. And when he started to feel discomfort, he went to the hospital. Doctors were able to extract the brush and cure the patient. This 31-year-old came to the hospital with a sore throat. When the doctors examined her, they saw a fish bone stuck in her thyroid gland. Somehow it moved there from the swallowing channel. And this man from North Carolina began to experience fatigue and chronic cough. He lived with his condition for two years, then decided to go to the hospital. The doctors examined his lungs and found a plastic fork there. When they removed it, the man immediately felt better. <laughs> you think? That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.